hello to the nation. Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here to talk to you guys over a little bit of Poverty Craft episode 11, to my knowledge. Yeah, yeah, boy. Uh, so, what are we going to be doing today? What are we going to be doing today? We are going to finish construction on this building and the second floor of said building. So, it should be fun times. But, last episode, we got this iron pick with efficiency 2, unbreaking 2. And, uh, yeah, so people are asking, Nick, why are things so expensive? They're expensive to make this game mode more difficult, because if things were cheaper, then there would be really no point in making the game mode, because it would just be a game of, hey, do the exact same thing, except instead of crafting, you just sell the things and buy what you want. Like, people are asking, like, hey, Nick, you know, it only takes three iron to craft an iron pick. Why is it, you know, $1,500 or something like that, which is the equivalent of, like, half a stack of iron? Well, it's like that to make it more difficult because it means that you're not supposed to be mining a ton and doing all that sort of stuff. Even though you can, you can mine if you want. So I'm going to actually spawn and get a hoe. I'm going to go get myself a hoe. <sighs> Here we go, walking down the street, tack it to everyone we meet. I'm going to get a good hoe, too. I'm going to go and, oh, the hoes are over here. Here we go, walking down the street, whoa, tack in to everyone we meet. Uh, let's get a, should we get a diamond hoe? Let's ball out, guys. Ball out together. Boom! Diamond. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this, brother. Woohoo. Uh, so, anyway. Um, so, we are going to do... Uh, dun, 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 slash home space home. And we are going to go home. And we are going to do this. So, let's run in here. Run over here. Uh, and we got this diamond hoe. So, we got the diamond hoe. Can, can you enchant a hoe? Why not? Let's do it. Let's let's enchant. Level 8 enchantment. Let's do this with these levels. Boom. No, you can't. Okay, never mind. That was embarrassing. I thought you could get, like, unbreaking or something, maybe. Boom. Wow, that doesn't use any of the durability on this hoe either. Did I pick any of that up? Let's find out. Do I, I got 57. Do I pick any of that up? Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So we can use a hoe to break all this stuff and it'll never actually use any durability. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we'll break durability here. Ooh. Can we break... Can we break the ground with a hoe? No, we can't. Does it use durability, though? No, we can't. See? Can we break wood with a hoe? Aw, okay. Well, we are doing some bug testing, I guess. I guess we can call this bug testing. Aw. So anyway, uh, those are more potatoes growing in. We need to get some gravel to fill in that hole over there. But we got this hoe, which we should go get more buckets of water, actually. Uh, why do we have two buckets? Where did we get those two buckets from? Boom. Pick that up. And we are going to go like, uh, like that. And boom. And we need to one, two, three, four, five. So here we go. We're gonna go one, one, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to break that and then go like that. And there we go. And then we can hoe all of this land like so. There we go. And we need more of this stuff, which we can go like that. Let's break uh, this right here. And then we can go bam, and then we can go one, two, three, and then we can break this and go like that, and then break this, and boom. Here we go. We're doing this. We're doing it, guys. Uh, let's throw this here because we don't actually need this held on us at the time. Uh, and get this hoe, go like that, uh, slash spawn. Let's see, do they, we do we have melon seeds that spawn? I don't even know. I don't even know, man. Flint, brick, string, nether wart, cocoa, ink sack, red rose, uh, boat, saddle. Uh, it should be maybe over here. 
Uh, spider eye gas tier, all that stuff, all that stuff. What are we looking for again? We're looking for melon seeds. Melon seeds. Seeds, torch, enchantment table, saplings. Um, hmm, I'm looking for stained clay. There's a ton of stained clay here. Tons of it. Uh, raw fish, cooked fish, golden apple, pork, cookie, potato, carrot, raw chicken, cooked chicken. Where's the seeds, man? Where is the seeds? We're working on stuff, guys. Uh, leaves, 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 sand, wool, 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 bucket, leaves, leaves, wool, 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 wool. Um, okay, nothing, 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 nothing. Of course, it's probably going to be the last place that I actually look for anything. Dirt, dirt, wool. Uh, keep on going. Wow, is it actually not here? Do we not have melon seeds here? Melon seeds should be here. Damn. They should definitely be here. Okay, well, good thing we're doing the overhaul of the shop later today. So by the time you guys are watching this, melon seeds will be there. By the time you guys are watching this, all of this stuff should be fixed. Uh, and this is all just basically... I'm really... That really sucks that it's not here. I'm probably just missing it. I'm probably just missing it. Uh... Yeah, I guess it's not here. So we are gonna do slash uh, home home space home. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that uh, that gets fixed. We'll fix that by the time you guys are watching this. It will be fixed. I promise. You guys can come on and and yell at me in the comments if it's not fixed by the time you guys are watching this. Because I think later today we're watching this, and I'm definitely not posting this video today. But uh, yeah, so this is Poverty Craft. For those of you who don't know what Poverty Craft is, I guess that was a pretty uninteresting seven minutes. But for those of you who don't know what uh, Poverty Craft is, make sure uh, you guys go check out the link in the description. The link in the description will, sh will tell you guys exactly what Poverty Craft is. It's a video demonstration. It's actually the first episode in the series that shows you all the different rules to know about Poverty Craft and such. And uh, we are going to go like this. And then we are going to, I need seeds. Where are my seeds? Well, my seeds, my seeds, my seeds. Uh, do we need to go get more seeds? Do we? Do we? Do we? Uh, I think we do. I think we we need to go get more seeds to feed these chicky chicky chickies to get more eggy eggy eggies. I guess is that the proper? Oh, why am I still holding on to this fracking horse armor? I have just iron horse armor for some reason in my fracking thing. Here we go. Throw that in there, that in there, that in there. Is, are these all... Okay, I got two cats. That's useless. Um, here we go. Walking down the street. Talking to everyone we meet. Here we go. So hopefully... Uh, let's throw that in there. And keep on going. Well, let's keep on going, guys. So I'm looking to get like one stack of seeds. And for those of you wondering, this is how you start off Poverty Craft. You start off Poverty Craft getting seeds. Uh, there we go. I really wish I could have enchanted that hoe. That would have been kind of fun. Uh, let's not pick up that flower. How many seeds do I got? 15. So we're doing pretty good. And as you guys can see, I got a ton of grass around me. You guys should be able to see grass like pretty much everywhere. Like there's grass in so many places, especially if you find a savanna like this one. It's just all tall grass. It's really nice so that you guys can just do this, do this all day, all day, every day. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, what's going on? 26, here we go. But yeah, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. I know this is kind of like prison-y now because I'm just basically grinding to get seeds, which is kind of uninteresting, but it's fun to do, fun enough, because it's pretty easy. You can just kind of turn your brain on autopilot and just be like, ooh, I'm just breaking seeds all day, every day, every 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 day. Uh, so we're going to feed those chicky chickies. Uh, 47, we're almost there. I wish you would get XP, like, you know when you mine an ore? I wish you would get XP just breaking grass. Not a lot, like, you wouldn't get a lot, but after you break, you know, maybe, like, 100 pieces, it gives you, like, a couple... Like, maybe every 10 pieces of grass you break, it gives you one point of XP. That'd be pretty cool. You know? You know. So, 55. That's good enough. Oh, wow, 58. 58, that's good enough. 
So let's go. Uh, we're actually going to finish up the shop this time to, um, or not the shop, the second floor. We're going to place in the ceiling uh, and then we can place the top floor on. Um, let's get these guys. Boom. And then here we go. Let's mate all these chicky, 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 chickies. So tons of XP I'm getting. Ooh, I just leveled up twice. Two levels, three levels, uh, four levels. Ooh, five levels. Look at all this. Damn. This is actually getting a pretty source of a pretty good source of XP. This is pretty good. Damn, we just doubled our levels, guys. In that period of time, we doubled our fracking levels. Isn't that amazing? So this is why, like this, I guess this is way better than doing a mob grinder or something. Like, wow, I don't understand why more people don't do this in uh in like alt factions or something or like factions or I don't know. Why don't you just do this? It seems like it's a way better deal. And also, I figured out a really cool way. So say I want to come in here and I want to pick up all the eggs, the eggs that I get. Is there? Really? There's no eggs in here. None of them have laid eggs. But anyway, if I want to get out, I can go like this. So I jump up. I jump up, like so. And now I'm on top of the fence here, and then I basically get off, and I push the horse back in. <laughs> so I figured out that. I was like, oh, yeah, this is kind of a cool idea to get out. I don't need to open up the door and risk getting letting people out. but uh, Or letting people out. Letting chickens out. But uh, we are going to go place in that ceiling now. So I got two stacks of cobble. Cobble wobble. Uh, and we can actually start doing that. Uh, let's make sure that I have a stack of cobble. I also have my torches available. So I'm basically putting these torches on so that uh, I, it doesn't mess things up. So we're going to place them like that, like that, like that, like that. And then cobble wobble. Let's start cobble wobbling. There we go. We're probably going to need more just considering this is so long. It's going to use a ton of cobble just to do it. So I'm gonna do this like a spiral because I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling like spirally, like I'm spiraling out of control. Uh, here we go. I'm really misplacing a lot of these pieces. This is kind of kind of frustrating. Wow! If I wouldn't have one, two, three. If I wouldn't have misplaced those three pieces, I would have had enough. So we are going to finish off this pick. Pick. I think. Let's get that. Run over here, get that, get that. So apparently it's 64 perimeter. So what is that? What, what would that mean that the blocks are? It means it's 64 blocks around, uh, which would be like, how many blocks is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would be 24, uh, which would mean that it's uh, 10 blocks long, I think. 20 blocks long. Yeah, it's 20 blocks long. long. 12 blocks wide, 20 blocks long. long. Um, that's interesting. It's neat to know. Math, guys. Math helps you out in life. Um, so here we go. Finish doing this, which means that if it's 20 blocks long, actually, so if it's 20 blocks long and 12 blocks wide, then that means it's going to be 240 blocks to fill, which is going to be about four stacks uh, of cobble, meaning I'm going to need uh, another two stacks on top of the two stacks I've already used. So math, guys, math just helped me out. It helped me to tell me exactly how much I'm going to need. So those of you who say math isn't useful, uh, it is. Uh, so I'm going to need a little bit more, actually, than what I currently have. So I'm actually going to need another half stack-ish. Like so let's keep doing this. Like so. Uh, so uh, I, could, I could just put uh, the dirt running across the bottom here, which is an idea. I don't like that. I want it to be like all uniform ceiling type thing. Uh, I think that that's probably the best idea to do. But um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of why I'm doing, if you guys, in case you guys are wondering, in case you guys are asking, Nick, why don't you just put dirt here and here and then, you know, uh, have water there? Well, this is why. This is why, because I don't want to. Uh, and then there there hopefully we can have a decent amount of the ceiling done because we're almost done like this is really unfortunate hopefully i have another half stack because it should only be another half stack shouldn't be any more than that <sighs> okay hopefully we have enough and uh, i'm running out of steam guys this grind i fell off i fell off the ball i was on the ball i was i was like 
going forth with my recordings. It was going really well. And then I got really downed because I looked at my recordings and realized that I only recorded three episodes of Prison and I thought I, I recorded four. And then I was like, no, I am so down now. Oh, no, I wasn't ready. I wasn't. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But uh, let's go. Wow, I have to actually go grind for cobble. I need to go cobble grinding. Where is my hole? Where is the hole? There we go. Wow, there. Holy crap. There is so many, like, villagers here. 20 wheat for an emerald, 20 wheat for an emerald, 20 wheat for an emerald, 8 gold for an emerald, uh, 20 wheat for an emerald. Uh. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Uh, an emerald for boots, an emerald for three bread, uh, 29 paper for an emerald. Holy crap, there's so... What happened? Why are they all down here? Uh... No, don't, don't, don't take that. You better not freaking take that. I would be so angry. I'd be so angry with you. Uh... Uh, an emerald for six... Why is there so many of them down here? This is ridiculous. Wow. There is a lot. Okay, anyway. Let's get some cobble wobble up in here. Up in here. Uh, people got <laughs> griefed. Uh, keep on going. Ooh. Ooh. We found some Ironis when we were looking for some cobble. This is actually a good find. That's pretty good. I like this. Uh, how many do we have? 20. So we should only need about 10 more. There we go. Watch us just find, like, the biggest, like, m like f thing of diamond, like, ever. Like, that's just my luck. Like, I've been so lucky with Poverty Craft so far. Wow. What the, what the crap? Um, I've been so lucky with Poverty Craft recently. Why are these guys, like, on speed? Like, they're all just running around really quickly. Uh, 40. So slash home space home, like, so. And then we can go and do this and by the way guys this has been like on red for like the longest time it is i'm breaking through that's why we enchant things guys that is why specifically uh because it just makes things last so much longer it's, it's ridiculously helpful so I, I definitely suggest you know instead of you know buying spending the 3500 on another pick get an enchantment bench it's so much more useful uh so here we go walking down the street talking to everyone we meet here we go come on five wow we need to go get more my math was wrong guys my math was wrong oh wait that's why my math was wrong i actually know why my math was wrong though my math was wrong because it is 12 across by 20 that way but i forgot to it's actually 22 by 10. I think I think that's why I got it wrong. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it's actually 22 uh, by 12. So that was why. It's because with the perimeter... Uh, the perimeter you only add the corner blocks once when you're doing uh, area so I was off by as off by 24 or like 20 or something I don't know what I was off by but math yay and there's so many in here too like what the hell are you guys doing man you guys having a pool party wow they actually like all drop when I look at them simultaneously this is pretty good this is a pretty good area that I got see well oh, where'd my where'd the hole go it's over here right over here Oh, why don't I just grab it from here? This is so much more convenient. Here we go. Uh, so I think this should be enough, ideally. There. And let's go. So that should be enough. Uh, in addition, we're probably going to get some vines. So I'm probably going to get some vines to throw on the, uh, the wall just because it's probably better than ladders because I can just throw one vine there and it'll grow all the way down. So I'm probably just going to do that opposed to getting ladders. Uh, and here we come on BAM we're done we're done this one uh, actually we're not done at all we still need to plant all these like fracking melons but <sighs> opposed to that we are done we got another food source 
uh, which is cool. We got another food source. Uh, where did my melons go? Throw it in there. So we got 34 melons off these seven things. So, oh, oh, this is ridiculous. If I break a fully grown one, doesn't it give me two? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It does. It does. I was right. It does give me two. So I can actually, because I can't buy melon seeds right now at the current shop, I could just do this. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna make me not be able to grow more melons, but it will enable me to actually continue to plant these. So that's actually cool. Thank goodness I can't. I'm so smart. I'm so smart, guys. Like, look at that. Look how smart I am. Um, because I can just continuously like I can AFK grow these and then just break them and then double them up, break them, double them up, break them, double them up. That's actually a good idea. I am so smart, guys. I'm just so smart. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Poverty Craft. If you guys did, remember to slam that like button down below as well as subscribe to join the nation if you already haven't. Make sure you guys check out all the other episodes of Poverty Craft. Uh, this, hopefully you guys do enjoy the series too. And come check out mcwarside.com and come play Poverty Craft on mcwarside.com. mcwarside.com. Talk to you guys later.